Hello and welcome into another Let's Play and today I'm playing Tokyo Extreme Racer on the, on the Dreamcast. Now this ain't technically a European one, this is a, I think it's a North American version. Well I don't quit race, we'll play Quest Mode, that's like the main story mode. Select me car with CP, what CP, why can I put C off a of credit, why is it CP? Right, so we've got these cars are basically uh, representing cars of free life, that's a Toyota. Corolla from the 80s, I think it's a Corolla, not a Toyota. So we've got that, the same one with pop up headlights. Go across. Another Toyota. Yeah, another Toyota, and it goes to Lexus, and it's just pretty much all Japanese cars because it is basically a Japanese game. Uh, so let's. I don't know what to get. Oh, hang on, now this is game it too high now. Yeah, that's the Skyline, so that's double what I've got. Well, the money I've got to play with anyway. So what I'm going to do is I've got the cheapest one and then we'll just uh, tune the hell out of it. Pop-up headlights, because they look nice, pop-up headlights. Right, black, so white, black, red. Oh, there's only them. I think you can customise your colours. That's not red, that's pink, isn't it? Like a salmon pink. That's not red. I think white looks better for it. Uh, so, right, so the change I got, we'll have to tune in and we'll just see... Uh, buy parts, change parts, oh, settings. Um, Steering speed, yeah, I might put the speed up a bit because the handling on default is a bit naff. With the change, you can buy stuff like you can get your engine, suspension, chain drive, chassis, muffler, wheels, so you can change wheels, you can... Uh, what's that one? Oh, is this... Oh, you can change, yeah, that you got a bumper. So this is all cosmetic, so that look nice and all that. So you got that, you can change the grill. But pretty much you can change a lot of stuff on this. Yeah, the money I'd love to do all this. Like you can see the change the bonnet. Got like air vents. Even change mirrors. And side skirts and oh well it's got spoilers. Yeah, I can just change all that stuff. But for now I'll leave I'm gonna leave the like all the cosmetics. I want to get the performance better so I can actually win. Got stage one, right, click up to two. Yeah, seven grand exact. Oh, stage three. Right, go to stage two. Oh, I've got enough now for a three. Nope. Seven grand. Right then. With that little bit out of the way, I can go straight into a race. So, I've got the inner city or the outer, so. I don't know which really matters, to be honest. A, B, A, B, um, stop, right, A, there we go, hold on, something's happening, there we go, autopilot, right, yeah, so Y is change, U, can you use D-pad to change, oh, I can't do that, okay then, yeah, so basically, what this game is, is you drive around, it's not like a black of fours or anything like that, you just basically drive around, and on your little left mini map, you'll see little dots, so yellow represents you, and then the blue square blobs are basically, oh, which way do I go, hold this way, right, uh, basically represent like your your enemies and where the hell am I going, that was a good start, uh, so yeah, so they represent you, so if I chase them and then I flash my lights, is it, is it, yeah, it is blue, so blue flash my headlights to attract attention and then I basically raise them, and it's kind of like a, a, like a, the system is kind of like a Tekken, in a sense, because you play these lot, like, beat them with like health bars. Um, which you'll understand once I get to like find someone. Hang on. Um, oh, the nearest one's f quite a bit away, isn't it? Ah. So you basically flash red lights, get them, and then you race them. Then once you completed them, because I think the, the dots change colour. It might be green or red, I'm not sure, but once you completed all them, be all these little, were like rivals, and I'm certain you play like a big boss at the end. And once you've completed, like once you've done that, I think you, you might go to another stage where you like you that like you rank up. So this could be all this stage could be like level one, because I don't know exactly the exact full concept of the game. Like all oh, happens later on. Not, I mean, yeah, sorry, I do understand the concept basically. Beat these opponents, then you beat a boss. But once you get to second level, I don't know if like. I think you, you do have to upgrade your car or buy a new car, get like you know, like a, a Nissan Skyline, something like a big powerful car. 
the boss main purpose of the game is like this is you complete all, beat the little blue blobs, and then you play the big boss battle. So it's kind of like a cross between like a Mortal Kombat with each stage you're racing. But it feels like the whole thing's like kind of Streets of Rage where you beat the little guys to get to play the boss at each end of each level. It's kind of like what we cars. Yep, there's one here. There he is. Right, flash the lights. There we go. So there's this rival, Elegant Wild, and I'm what? Holstman Hat. Holstman Hat, that's a naff name. Right, 2 1. Go, oh, thanks, Autopilot. Put me in the most awkward position ever. Now, here we go. So you can see, because he's taking the lead and he's actually taking a bloody good distance and he's really accelerating. I've actually punched above my weight here, I think. He's, my health bar is going down. So that's like how he's hurting me. He's trying to beat me. And, the, oh, I'm, and now I'm overtaking him. So I'm actually changing that steering is doing really nothing because that's the only one big problem with this game is, is that the steering's rubbish. But I don't know if it's because you have a, a cheaper car, I'm not sure. But it's just so bad. I don't know if you have to drift or not, but there's no buttons to say how to drift because I don't think it's the handbrake button on this. No, because you just have you mean like buttons, your AVs and that, I think. Well, A and X is change up and down gears. Y is that to change view. And, oh, there we go, clip a curb again. And then B is to flash your lights. And that's it. And then, you add, then your D-pad does nothing. Your analogs obviously turn left and right. Then your bumpers are like, you know, left bumpers, brake, and R bumper is to accelerate, and that's it. So it's just a bit dodgy uh, setup where there's no handbrake because I thought that's why the steering's crap because they're trying to encourage you to drift but no it's just the system itself. And unless like I said though it could be like oh Jesus Christ he's gonna overtake me. No he hasn't thank god I've got enough time. Yeah keep racing we'll do another one. What's another car here? Oh I might punch you above my way to because this is quite a big bloody car this. It's like a big uh, Lexus car, isn't it? That big luxury car. Yeah, what I was gonna say was I don't know if I if I, if I said like if I, let's say for example I, I beat this car, so it's like right, I've done two cars and I won't go off and upgrade my car. I don't know if I can go off this mode, set up a car, come back onto this. I'm not sure if it would reset the default. Like say there was eight people, like there's eight players on this track, well eight enemies on this track, completed two, and then I go off, would it reset and go back to, you know, oh hang on, please don't say it's turned off, thank god, I it's going to turn then, but, because like, as well, you, you can see on the map, you can go different, slightly different directions, it's not really that open world, but, it's nice you've got that option, I suppose, but it's good though, if you're in the lead, sometimes, you can mess them up, like if they're right behind you, you can like do a sharp left and go down a slip road and just completely lose them. Well, only one big problem in this game is just the, the handling is horrendous on this. That's the only gripe I have with this, but apart from that, I love this setup. It's, it's just quite, it's kind of a, I don't know if it's original, but it's, it's unique. Instead of just like just having a quick like race, with like, oh, uh, I'll race you to the end of the junction. This no, you, you just race until like you lose your health bar. So yeah, I do. I do quite like that. Oh, that's is that that same corner again at the start? I get it. Is that just hit the same bloody corner? Here's another one. Hey, he's my little buddy, my Toyota cousin. It's your cousin. Fucking let me play your git. Come on, thank you. Ooh, I'm not sure about the colour on the, the wheels, it just does not look right, like like a golden green. Nah. Rolling guy. And we're off. Boom. I should have done that, I should just race then, shouldn't I? Just, I should beat this guy, because he's... Oh, did he break then? So he just broke that. He, he pressed the right one then, so you can get... But yeah, I should... Actually, I should really beat him, because I've got an engine upgrade, and it's the same as mine, but... It should be, I'm presuming it should be stock, but unless they, they are, they've been upgraded, but saying that I'm actually catching up to him. There we go, slip through. Nicely done.
I should pick it up out of speed here. 200 what? Oh, 223 for a little latch back. Spot the latch back. That's not bad, is it? Oh, God. This is this is quite quick, isn't it? This, a stage to upgrade is quite bloody fast indeed. Oh, oh. oh I'm going to slip through then. End up in a big collision then. This will be. I had that on full lock then. I, I was turning fully left then. But it doesn't matter because I have done it. Yay! Yeah, I think I will wrap that up. So this is Toka Toka Tokyo Extreme Race uh, on the Dreamcast. This is I think it's a North, a North American version. Obviously, like I said, I, I made a naughty copy of it. But I think in Europe, like the UK, I think it's I'm certain it's called Tokyo High Speed Challenge. And there's no real difference between it. I think it's just the exact same game, but they just repackaged it, <laughs> you know, rebranded it. So yeah, and. It's not a bad game. I, I did, I do, I did like this back at the time, but I think the second one is more better. I think they did actually improve the handling a bit better, and they give you a lot more cars. And I don't know if they changed the track or not, unless it's just the exact same. I'm not sure, but the second one did feel like a bit better. They, they did a lot of more improvements to it. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon for some more Let's Plays. Bye bye. Take care.